Hello beautiful! If you are new to my channel, hey boo! I hope you consider subscribing. But if you're a returning subscriber, you know you're the real MVP. Welcome to the end of week two and of course the beginning of week three. In case you're new to my channel, of course I do hair growth challenges amongst other things that I'm trying to get into eventually. But for now, we're mainly focusing on hair growth products, techniques that will help us grow our hair. And this month I've been using cloves. And without wasting more of your time, we're going to get straight into how I made clove oil which i've been using for about a week now um so yeah let's get into the ingredients you will need and the tools you will need so in the video that's playing right now you will see that i have my mason jar i have my clothes and of course um i have my oil <laughs> Okay, so this is all you would need to make your clove oil and of course um, a pot, um, well not a pot but rather pestle and a mortar. Though I would suggest um, that if you have a blender with you that would work much better for this. But in case you don't, you can always use the same things that I have used of course. And lastly, you will need a pot and a some water. So <laughs> that's just about it in terms of what you will need. But anyway, let's go forward into how I made my clove oil. So you will see me here um, showing you the cloves. And I must say that they have this really nice, like woody, but slightly sweet scent that I really like. Um, so I'm going to take in a few of them. Originally, I had thought to use a tablespoon, um, but then I forgot to grab it before I started. But anyway, I'm just putting those into my um, mortar. Is it the pestle? I don't know which, which. Anyway, I'm putting it into what it's called. You, you can comment down below. And I'm just trying to show you what it looks like. Um, I eventually um, did, you know, put it in my hand just so I can show you guys, which will be in a few seconds. So you see me do it right here. So this is about like um, a tablespoon or so. Um, and you don't need a whole lot, of course, if you want to make more, go ahead and use more. But I thought because I did not want to make a very big sample of the clove oil as of yet, I decided to use the amount that you see me use. Okay, so this is what my cloves look like. I tried as much as possible to kind of get them crushed, but no, it took me like 30 minutes and I was just like, okay, this is as, 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 as small as I can get them using the tools that I have. So if you have a blender, I think this will get it even finer than what you see. And of course, I'm going to transfer um, my cloves into my mason jar. Um, originally, I thought, okay, should I add the oil first or should I add the cloves? But I added the cloves to the mason jar first. Then I went in with the oil. So I have to add that um, this was like my last bit of oil. So um, I need to get some more. But as I said, for this particular project, it was enough. I am going to get some more, you know, because I am planning on doing much more, many more DIY. So I am going to get some more oil. But for what I had at that moment when I was making this, I, I just made use of it and I went forward. So I tried to show you guys what my clove oil looks like. Um, now before I put it um, into the bot, um, 
the pot before i put it sorry i was just looking at the videos so before i put it um into the pot to do the double boiler method of course i will mention make sure that your mason jar can handle being put into that type of heat and you will not he uh, need um an extreme amount of heat just like medium between medium high you know not too much just enough to get the water simmering you know get the water um not necessarily boiling but i'll say simmering that's what you need so yes um make sure that your mason jar can handle that type of heat so as i was saying before i put the clove um oil into the mason jar i did take a video of what it looks like um it didn't look um as pigmented as i've seen other youtubers when they made their clove oil and i think it's because i did not completely turn the cloves into like a, a much finer um powder or i didn't really um get it into the smaller segments that i would have loved to get it to but if you can you will notice that you um even just adding the oil and shaking it up you will notice that the pigment of the oil that you are using will change so the oil that i use does have a slight yellow tinge to it but i did notice that the cloves did add like a little bit more um other darker brown to it so it's like a darkish yellow so this is what it looks like youtuber hands <laughs> yes so this is my clove oil i have been using it for the past one week now i transferred it to this really cute mason jar that i found um as i was looking around the stores and i'm actually going to get a couple more because these will come in handy so this is what it looks like you can see that it has a slightly it's very cloudy now originally if you saw in my previous clip where i was showing you what it looked like before i had put it in the simmering water or before using the double boiler method it had it wasn't really this pigmented so you can see that the other thing i will mention is that even before i went in to you know help the infusion process go on faster by using the double boiler method i'm sorry i'm saying that word so many times um i did notice that the smell of the oil changed and i just put in the oil and left it for a few minutes while while i was gathering things up and heating up the water so i'm really really glad about that even now i did add a little bit more oil even now i can still i still get that clove scent and it's really i wouldn't say it's overpowering for me because i think i like it <laughs> it's not really the scent i would go for but i like it i really do like the scent of the clothes so even just when i added the extra oil just um the clothes and the oil sitting together i already got the scent i'm like okay this works so you do not have to go in and use the double boiler method if you do not want to or if you do not have mason jars with you however that would mean that um if you'd want to start using clove oil make sure that you make it in advance make it like two three weeks in advance let the oil sit in a cool dark place and that will start the infusion process by the time you start using it all those nutrients would have started to you know infuse into the oil and you get all the benefits that come with using clove oil so that was a quick tutorial i tried not to talk too much because this is just a way for you to make clove oil and of course um it being our final week make sure you stay tuned because next week we're going to be doing our final length check let's see what these clothes have done for us do they work um uh the people who have been raving about it really telling the truth or not we're gonna see if it worked for my hair so make sure you stay tuned um we'll make sure that that video comes out on time <laughs> comes out next week monday 
Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, as usual, please leave them in the comments section. If I can't answer you, I will be sure to direct you to someone that I feel like might be able to help you out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Whenever you see this, you have a blessed day, blessed week, blessed month. And yeah, stay blessed. I love you. Bye.